On right, nearly stole an inbounds pass. Knocked it out of bounds. Four seconds, three. Carl Anthony, one, off the wrong foot, puts it in at the buzzer. Oh, wow. And, and, and he stares down, down at Kongwu as he leaves the floor. They got a little something going here. Spicy. It's getting spicy in here. Extra spicy. <laughs> Ooh-wee. So this is just one-on-one. -on -one. Again, tough matchup, hard to guard. But Carl Anthony Towns has something to say to him afterwards. And I don't know, but I'm having fun. That's exactly what I, you want to see. Going to the fourth quarter. Now, we had some fireworks here, Ms. Montgomery, at Lots the of end them. of the uh, third quarter with Carl Anthony Towns hitting that buzzer beater. And Bill Kennedy and Mark Lindsay looking at the video here. And I'm wondering just quite what they're looking at. I think they're looking for any energy after the play, like what was going on with that. I think they're trying to just get a second look at it. But you talked about our 42-point third quarter. Well, that's it's crazy because they, the Timberwolves had a 42-point first quarter, so we got that back. But they're looking at to see what happened after that play. What I'm concerned to see is how do the Hawks respond with Trey Young now out? He's car He carried the group while he was on the court in that third quarter. And I don't what a turn of events and take the basket away so it's 103 to 93 there's point nine put back on the clock and i'm wondering if bill kennedy would be so kind as to come over to the camera <laughs> and address us i love when they look in the camera <laughs> now, here it comes and patrick beverly's came over to get an explanation of his own and patrick beverly Oh, wow. Patrick Beverly does not need to be on this side of the floor not participating in the game. I'm trying to figure out what's really going on.